than Clinton for his stewardship and his rival for the White House, Al Gore, for a spirited campaign. And I thank Vice President Gore for a contest conducted with spirit and ended with grace. The day started at the White House, where the Clintons and Gores met with their successors, the Bushes and Cheneys, and then it was off by convoy to the Capitol. The weather, cold, rainy in the 30s, didn't dampen the spirits of the tens of thousands who stood along Pennsylvania Avenue for a chance to get a glimpse of the new president. But the cold weather may have helped some 7,000 police keep protesters in check. Violent clashes blocked the parade route and led to arrests, but not as many as police anticipated. And tonight the streets are lined with limousines, uh, perhaps many of them getting stuck in some of the snow that's coming down here. Later on, the president and the first family will spend their first night in the White House after a long and a very historic day marking a new beginning. Live from snowy Washington, Ernie at Asta, CBS 2 News. Ernie, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Well, citizen Bill Clinton is enjoying a quiet night in his new White House in Chappaqua. The former president, his wife, Senator Hillary Clinton, and daughter Chelsea waved to a small crowd as they drove up to their home on Old House Lane. Earlier, they were greeted with cheers and applause from a crowd of supporters at Kennedy Airport. Mr. Clinton says he is grateful to the state of New York for making him feel right at home. New York has been great to Bill 